Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. She's a licensed therapist and member of the Sister Circle family. Absolutely. Now, Owen has her. And just took her from us, and <laughs> they are taking her gentle yet piercing approach and tagged her to lead a group of celebrity couples through the rough terrains of their relationship in a new series called Love Goals. Let's take a look. I'm coming, kill. Tell her you're right here. I'm right here. I'm going to push them to their limits. Can I please say something? No. Do you feel good yeah. now? No, no, I don't. You and your partner are making your relationship a shit show. Oh, golly, Jesus! Yes, alive. Spirit, spirit, spirit. The people together. <laughs> yes, it's so great to have you back. Yes, it's so good to be back. Yes. 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 I like that. Yeah. Tell oh, me, T I E. How did it come about? Yes. How did the show come about? Well, you know, they had called me about doing it, and at first I said, "Oh, I don't do that genre of TV." And yeah. when they said, "No, Spirit, we're looking for it to be something different. We are really looking for these couples to come in and have therapy." Mm -hmm. And I said, "Oh, now if we're talking." therapy. Not like a marriage camp or anything. No, something totally different. And so I had the opportunity to sit down with these couples and do individual therapy, couples therapy, and group therapy. Mm -hmm. And we talked about everything from intergenerational trauma to the effects of racism and mm -hmm. how that affects our relationships, mm -hmm. all the way down to childhood trauma. And when I tell you Ooh, no, I can't even tell you. You some just gotta watch. Yeah, some absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I can't absolutely. wait to see it because that looked like something. Else. That's real good. <laughs> Do you have to alter your approach because of the cameras when it comes to the couples? No, I know no, that's right. not at all. What I told them was that if we were going to do this, it had to be absolutely the real thing. And so for me, it was about letting the cameras do what they do, but it was about us having real therapeutic yeah. experiences. Yeah. And I'm so excited because, you know, with a network like OWN, I mean, you're talking highbrow, the best mm -hmm. of the best. Yeah. And so one of the things that I'm so excited about is that they've committed to putting all of the therapy sessions, the full therapy sessions oh. online. Oh, that's So cool. people will be able oh, wow. to go and see what it's like to be in a real individual therapy mm -hmm. session in a real real couple session in a real group therapy session. Mm -hmm. I'm just so excited. That's good. Your good glow up is amazing. We're <laughs> <laughs> just so proud of you. Yes. Now well, we knew this was happening. She told us she had a I know, but still. Now, so Spirit, proud. I'm down to the reality TV. Yes, mm. yes, yes. It can get heated. It on can. these hair sets, and I just saw you get the people all the way live. <laughs> all the way. So when you have to get the people all the way live, mm -hmm. and it gets turned up, mm -hmm. what are some of the techniques that you use, mm -hmm. you know, just in general, not even just for TV, but right. just to calm the environment, to bring everybody back to number one? Right, and I'm one. so glad that you asked, because again, even though it was reality, I think that a lot of times what we think is reality really isn't. Mm -hmm. And so even for these couples, there were times where in the very beginning, they thought that they had to kind of create some drama mm -hmm. and the producers would go in and say what are you doing and they mm. said well you know it was quiet and so we thought you guys needed a fight we right. needed an argument oh no and no. the producers would say well you know because you know y'all know mm -hmm. and so you know they had to tell them no this is not that kind of show we're not looking for that and so what you'll see over and over again is that me doing therapeutic techniques Production using grounding like techniques uh listen we did not <laughs> want anything to be to be scripted, mm -hmm. right? This Good. was, it is what it is. What you see is exactly that what it is. Real. And there are times where people are falling apart. There are times when things are falling all the way off the track. There are times when people are sharing some really serious stories mm -hmm. where we have to step in and say, okay, take a breath. You are right here in the present moment. Let me bring you back to this space. Let me show you. But it was all about healing. And it was Ooh, all yes. about making us better. Mm -hmm. It was so, so great. Uh, what, what did you require of? The, the participants before they even went into therapy? Yeah, well it was really about having them show up. I didn't know any of these individuals. You know, when you kind of do the work I do, you're underwater a lot, and so that's what I call that. And so I wasn't familiar with anybody. And so when I went in, I told them, listen, I'm not interested in your credentials, I'm not interested in what you've done, except for how that relates to your story as a human being. Okay. We are all here to have a human experience, so leave all of that celebrity out the door. Okay. And there were many times where I had to say bring it back mm -hmm. let's go right here mm -hmm. and remember I'm sure that you're used to being you know the head of all of these things outside but I'm the boss in here yes oh wow mm -hmm. so, yeah, well, can yeah. you speak to some of the breakthroughs that happened this mm -hmm. season without giving away too much yeah well it was really exciting because you have five couples who were dealing with five different issues mm -hmm. right so you look at Benzino and Althea for example mm -hmm. dealing with a co-parenting relationship mm -hmm. and how many of us can relate yeah. to, I'm trying to deal be a co-parent but we got 
got all this other history that's mm -hmm. left. Then you had a couple like Sunday and uh, and Q, uh, I'm sorry, Sunday and uh, Breon, who started out in a situation ship, mm -hmm. but then caught mm -hmm. feelings, and mm -hmm. he had to handle some of his old relationships mm -hmm. to kind of tie up. You had uh, Spin and Q, who mm -hmm. are getting married uh, later on this year and they want to make sure that their own trauma and baggage doesn't affect their mm -hmm. marriage. Yeah, yeah. You had the Bows, and I saw them here last week yes. who have just recently got married and all that newlywed stuff trying to make that happen. Mm -hmm. And then you had, uh, oh, Coolio and Mimi. Mm -hmm. On again, off again, on again, off again. And she said, it's time for you to new, do you know what or get off the pot. Mm -hmm. And so it was five very different situations. Yeah, but we wow. made it work. Absolutely. Do celebrities, you know, face different challenges that the regular everyday couple doesn't or may not? Well, you know, at the end of the day, it's really, it's magnified, right? And sometimes we can't get the help that we need because of that celebrity. And so what it was about was inviting them into a space that was safe, mm -hmm. that was sacred, to say at the end of the day, you put on your pants just like everybody else. No, no, You've right. had the same hurts, disappointments, and trauma as everybody else. And the stories that you hear when you see these stories, when you see their therapy, you're gonna look at these folks that you love and that you love to hate and go, oh my God. Gosh, wow. yeah, make, almost that's makes how sense. you got there. Yeah. It'll make, it will make perfect sense to you. I cannot wait to see it. And oh, um, you all stay with us. We've got more with Spirit when we return. Oh, that's that's so good. I can't wait yeah, to see good. it. Yeah. I like it. I want to so, see it. It is so amazing. Really? It is so mm. amazing. And just like that, we're back with licensed <laughs> therapist and host of the new hit show on Own Love Goals, Spirit. Yes. I'm so excited. Are you digging deep and getting into the people's spirit? Oh, let me tell you, it was transformative. Yeah. It was, and when you hear their stories, when they heard each other's stories, because you know, when we're dealing with trauma, we sometimes think that it's just us. Mm -hmm. But as you see from some of these experiences, I mean, you have grown men who are crying. Mm -hmm. You have women who recognize all of a sudden, I didn't realize my trauma from my childhood is affecting how I'm showing up in my relationships. Mm -hmm. You don't realize my relationships with my parents through their presence or their absence is showing up in this relationship that I'm trying to have. Mm -hmm. It was incredible and I'm just thankful to have been able to stand in the gap. Yes. I really yeah. am. Mm -hmm. What are you really hoping am. that the take, take home would be for audience? Yeah, I'm hoping that they're able to look at this and recognize that these couples just allowed us an invitation in, in the hopes that they can see themselves. Mm -hmm. I want people to understand that mental health and therapy is truly revolutionary. Mm -hmm. It's the most revolutionary thing you can do because if you heal somebody's mind, yeah. you can free them from bondage, mm. both True. intentional and unintentional. Yes. And so this is the last frontier. This is how we heal ourselves. Yes. This, this is good. how we heal our people. What are some tangible love goals for people who have been in love, who may just be together? What are something that we can actually attain tangibly? Yeah. You know, it really is about setting a goal. Oftentimes we don't have a destination for our relationship. Mm. We don't even know where we're trying to go. And mm. we don't know that our partner is trying to go in the same direction. Mm. So we just get together and I just love you and you love me and we're doing our best to make it work. But where are we making it work to go towards? Mm. Mm. What do you say you go towards? Like, so I've been married for 17 years. So what, mm -hmm. what should be a love goal for someone who's, we're happy. Yeah. We're at a really good stage mm -hmm. in our marriage. We're up. Mm -hmm. I like him a lot today. Mm -hmm. today. And, you know what I mean? <laughs> but what should what should be something we should yeah. look forward to? You know, I always say begin with the end in mind. Okay. Right? When we get down to the end and we look at each other and we've said our forever till death do us part, what did you want to accomplish in this life? And how was I there to support you? How was I there to grow you? Okay. How can I actually be your mate? Okay. Somebody told me a long time ago, they said, listen, being in love is the easy part, mm -hmm. right? But being in love is not about looking lovingly into each it other's eyes. Mean. Mm -hmm. It's about being able to look lovingly into the same direction. Mm -hmm. And if we're not looking in the same direction, then I'm going this way and you go this mm -hmm. way. And one day we wake up and we're so far apart, we can't intersect again. Mm -hmm. So having that goal and being intentional about are we working towards the same place? Are we got showing it, got up it. together? Right. That's how you maximize your relationship That's and good. your love and yourself, wow. your self-worth, your so value. Good. What Come are you on, in spirit? relationship for? Ooh. Right? Okay, spirit. You know what? <laughs> I need to take you in the back after the show. Come but on. in your experience, <laughs> what have been some of the hurdles that couples face um, when it comes to, or in terms of um, 
what's reality mm -hmm. and what are their expectations yeah. versus the two. You know, you know it's the communication piece. We all have expectations for ourselves and for our relationships, but unfortunately we often forget to communicate that to our partner. Mm -hmm. And then we walk around hurt, disappointed, feeling unappreciated, mm -hmm. and our partner doesn't even know it. We expect them to be a mind reader, to just finish our sentences, mm -hmm. to know what we want, to know how we want it. But if we're not communicating, and sometimes we don't even know for ourselves, we're not even definitive in ourselves, Mm -hmm. but we expect our partners mm -hmm. to know. Ooh. And then the other part of that is recognizing that you are not the problem and your partner is not the problem. The problems in your relationship are the problems. And it's up Ooh, to the two of you good. to work together on the same team to solve to the, the problems. Pro okay, so what mm. if you've communicated effectively? You've mm -hmm. looked at your partner and you said, this is what's bothering me. You know, you've, you've committed to the fact that mm -hmm. you need to communicate mm -hmm. and you've told them what you think and they say, I'm working, I'm trying, but then time goes by and mm -hmm. you Same never thing. see any, you never mm -hmm. see a change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here it is. Either we are not in alignment with how we understand the problem or we haven't chosen solutions that we can actually implement and are successful. Mm -hmm. So stop talking about what the problem is. Once we've done that, we got to move on. What are the possible solutions? You brainstorm every solution the two of you can think of <sighs> and then you get in agreement about the solutions you're going to implement. Mm. Then you actually implement them and then here's the important part. You put a time frame to say we're going to come back to this conversation to see how well those things worked. Because mm. sometimes we fall back into the wrong mm -hmm. habits, those old habits, mm -hmm. and then we stop implementing or sometimes we implement and it didn't work and we need to go back to that solution list. Well, right? I, so, so there's a work. way to do I it. There's a way today. to do it. There's I, a way to do it. I, I gotta ask about that revisiting thing. Mm -hmm. Not revisiting the problem, uh -huh. right? Because mm -hmm. we'll get back there and we'll have the same arguments over oh, and over for 20 and 30 years. No, no, no. See, no, no. We're revisiting the solution, right? The solution. We already know what the problem is. How did those solutions work? Oh, that didn't work. Why? Because you didn't hold up your end of the bargain. Why didn't I? Well, that was too hard or I didn't like it or it just didn't feel comfortable. <laughs> so what do we need to then implement? Move on to the next solution until you find what fits. Dang. Every problem is just something in need of a solution. You don't Ooh, have the I right solution. That. Every problem <laughs> is, message. It, you just don't have the right solution implemented in your relationship. Okay. No matter no matter what the problem you is. You know you can okay. have spirit. Okay. We can, yeah, we we can. <laughs> Thank you so much. You can catch My spirit pleasure. and this amazing spirit breathe some life back into celebrity relationships on Love Goals, which airs every Saturday on OWN at 9 p.m. Eastern. Let's give it up for our very favorite yes. spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Turns yeah. up.